Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am honored to open this year's edition of Bucharest Forum. And thank you, Mr. President Joana, for the extensive effort of the Aspen Institute in Romania to organize such meaningful debates that I am confident would lead to a consistent output on both policy making side, but also on the public agenda points of interest. As you very well pointed out, Romania is now at a very interesting point in time, as we are facing great opportunities to maximize our competitive advantage in the region, but also facing challenges that we have to overcome in order to engage our full capabilities to foster development. I will briefly tackle some of the topics that the distinguished panelists are going to develop later on today. <clears throat> I strongly believe that one of the most important principles that we need to have in mind when we are talking about development and regional leadership is interconnectivity. And I use this term in a broader sense, both within our internal borders as well as external regional. In order to open ourselves to trade, investment, and foreign markets, we need to find the best interconnection opportunities that would boost our internal production capabilities and translate the economic output into internal added value in terms of social welfare, but also enhance our export opportunities. Infrastructure plays a key role in this economic outlook and is one of the preconditions to foster internal productivity and then channel it according to market needs outside our borders. One of the greatest competitive advantages that Romania has resides now on its capabilities to manage its natural resources and become, through a sustainable management of their exploitation, an energy exporter, a regional provider of stability in the region. In this regard, I would like to mention one of the best examples that pave our way in achieving this goal the BRUA project, the Bulgaria-Romania-Hungary-Austria pipeline that would enable us, Romania, to value our current and future gas production by opening new perspective on the European markets for the energy industry in Romania. And not only that, but BRUA, in fact, and I hope uh, General Director Vadova will speak about it, it's an opportunity to show a true Romanian project, and I think that <coughs> The, the project in itself will be also a promoter, a catalyst of industrial development around it in the construction and then further on. This project sets the basics for realistic scenario that on 2020 Romania will be able to claim its role as a regional player on the energy market. We also need to focus our efforts to continue the work on Arad Seged and Yashungen pipelines that would unleash our export capabilities on the gas market. The Black Sea is also a great opportunity, but we need to plan carefully how we will manage the potential of the current exploitation. Explorations in the best case scenario, they will prove economically viable. Now going back to infrastructure. There has been a consistent debate and concern in the past years about the need to reconnect Romania through highways that would unleash the interregional goods connection through, through uh, routes towards the rest of Europe. We are aware of this top national priority and we are currently looking for the best solution to transform this postponed wish into a viable project. However, I want to emphasize that we should not leave aside the infrastructure that connects rural Romania to development. The lack of physical connection leads a great number of Romanian villages into economic isolation, causing alarming rates of local unemployment, investors' distrust, and emigration as an escape for survival. So when we talk about infrastructure, we need to look at the, the big picture, the, the highways, but also the rural, its rural connection. Nowadays, infrastructure transcends roads and links us in the digital world. The IT infrastructure and digital intercon interconnectivity change the way we interact and create new expectations and economic opportunities. Digitalization created a new economic mo model based on speed and immediate interaction. And we cannot afford to be left behind. We are now trying to set the basis to reduce the distance <coughs> sorry, between the citizen and the state through e-government tools, either by digital instruments that ba for basic tax pay services and through platforms that act as aggregators or, or content hubs for various publics, such as the SMEs. Another big opportunity for Romania today is to be able to maximize its capability to attract foreign investment on one hand and revive its export strategy on the other. In this regard, we are currently reshaping within the Ministry of Economy 
unit that will have the specific role to identify investment opportunities and prepare the ground to attract and welcome them. The final goal of this institutional and talent allocation effort is to strengthen our economic diplomacy dimension so it would become a viable tool of internal economic development. Last but not least, we should be aware that urban life and innovation, and as well rural survival, cannot be achieved without a decent quality of life, given by proper access to education, health care, and other social services that are part of our daily life as citizens and modern communities. I am confident that through constant dialogue and ideas exchange platforms such as yours, the, the debate today, we will find a solution to reach our full potential. The world as we know it today is characterized by continuous change that due to technology progress, it's happening very fast. We need to be aware of these dynamics and set our goal not to keep up with the change, but to be able to foresee it and lead towards development where we have great potential. And we do, we really do have it, I'm, I'm very confident. I want to thank you very much for your attention and I wish you all a fruitful and meaningful day. Thank you very much.